Inspired action is listening to all of those intuitive nudges that you're receiving throughout the day so that you're able to take the right action. Hello and welcome. My name is Natalie Schlute and today I am going to be talking about the law of inspired action. In this video, I'm going to go so much deeper into the ins and outs of what you need to do in order to take action towards your manifestations. It's one thing to just feel and believe that what you want to manifest is coming to you and that you are a match for that. Inspired action is so much more than just taking action. There's a lot of things that we want to manifest in life. And often some of the things that we want to manifest do need action. You actually have to go out and make something happen in order to draw it into your life. But how do you do that? How do you know what action to take? And that is what we are going to be talking about today. If you love everything that is the law of attraction, manifestation, developing your intuition, then please subscribe to this channel and also make sure to hit that bell so that you get notified every time I have a new video for you. So what is inspired action? To be inspired means that something just comes to you. It's like this aha moment where you get really excited. It's something that has a sense of passion behind it, a sense of excitement, something that you feel driven to do and are motivated and excited about. Inspired action is not an action where you feel like it's a chore. It feels like a push. It feels like a hustle. It feels like you're supposed to be doing it. That is the opposite of inspired action. Inspired action should feel good, light, wonderful, energetic. Something that feels like it's truly in alignment with what you're trying to create in your life. I feel like most people know what they want to create, but they don't always know how to create it. They don't know what the next step is or what the next step should feel like for them. And sometimes it's going to be a little bit outside your comfort zone. When it comes to the law of attraction, inspired action is actually coming from divine guidance. That guidance is coming from something greater than yourself. If you understand and believe in the law of attraction, you know that you are connected to everything in the universe. Everything is energy and you are already connected through this energetic field to everything you could ever want, everything you could ever want to manifest, every person on this planet, everything on this planet. You're also connected to dimensions and things that have not yet happened. This concept also keeps us tied to divine guidance. That divine guidance is going to come through as intuitive nudges and then it allows you to move towards your inspired actions. That energetic field that we are all connected to is how you're able to tap into divine guidance. You're able to channel intuitive information that is guiding you on your path, telling you the exact next step to take so that you get to your manifestations faster. It knows already what you want to manifest and you can use your intuition to hear the messages of what the next step is, of what you should be doing today, what you need to do tomorrow, and the actions and places and things you need to experience in order to get to where you want in the future, where everything is already manifested for you. That is what inspired action is. Inspired action is listening to all of those intuitive nudges that you're receiving throughout the day so that you're able to take the right action because that inspired action is going to get you to where you want to be faster. There are some things in your life that you can manifest very effortlessly. For example, let's say you wanted a cup of coffee. You can easily take action and just go out and buy yourself a cup of coffee, or you can ask someone to bring one to you. Those are actions that will take you towards manifesting what you want. It's also possible to manifest things without actually taking action, just through energy. So you might just put the intention out there that someone is going to bring you that cup of coffee. Maybe you had plans to meet up with a girlfriend to go for a walk one morning and they just happen to bring you a cup of coffee without you asking for it. That is one way to manifest things. But there are some very large things that we want to manifest. When we want to manifest great wealth, a career, a business that we want to develop, those are things that are going to take action. And it's important that you are taking action towards those dreams. Now, yes, it is possible that the universe might drop the money in front of you with the lottery, but it's few and far between. You have to show the universe that you are ready to receive those things and you need to be an energetic match for it. In order to be an energetic match for wealth, you need to be contributing to the world, giving something back and doing something that draws that wealth back in towards you. So there often needs to be some action with that. And where you begin is by tapping into the divine, by tapping into the universe, that energetic connection where you are going to be able to receive 
what you need to do in order to make that happen for yourself. And the key to following your intuition and taking that inspired action also comes with taking action now. It needs to be fast. The universe likes to work with speed. The faster you show the universe that you are ready to receive that manifestation by taking the inspired action, by being ready to receive it, and by moving forward, things will manifest faster for you. If you agree with this, if you understand that inspired action comes from that intuition that draws you in and you know that you need to take action fast, please type yes in the comments below. I wanna see how many of you are truly ready to take action, to follow your intuition because you want to manifest great things in your life. Now you might be wondering, how do I receive my intuition? What does that really mean? What does that look like? What does that feel like? Well, intuition comes in in a few different ways. I like to talk about the top five ways that we often receive our intuition. The first way is through visions. Maybe you see a picture in your mind or you have a vision board and that is how you know exactly what you're manifesting. And you can see it, you close your eyes and you can visualize what it is like to be in that future manifestation. If that feels really strong for you, if that's a really great connection for you, then your strongest intuitive type might be clairvoyance. The second way people receive intuitive information is through claircognizance. Claircognizance is just a knowing. Maybe you have this big aha light bulb moment where you just, you know it, you get it. You, f you understand without a shadow of a doubt that this is the next step. This is your path. This is your dream. This is the thing you want to manifest. That is claircognizance. It's as if the divine energy of God and your angels just downloaded the information straight into your head. The third way we receive intuitive information is through clairaudience. That's hearing the answer. Now this can come through in a variety of different ways. You might just hear your own voice saying the answer inside your head. It may sound like your voice coming from outside your ear, or maybe it's another voice. Maybe it's just this thought, this idea, but you hear the actual words come through. Clear audience is when you have the ability to hear divine guidance, hear that intuitive information come through for you. It'll often come through as a single statement, a single word, something very short and repetitive. If you hear an ongoing dialogue, that is not your intuition. That is your ego talking to you. And it may or may not be the guidance that you actually need in order to manifest what you want faster. The fourth way people receive intuitive information is through clairsentience. Clairsentience means physical sensations. Have you ever experienced a moment where someone said something and it really resonated with you? Maybe you got chills down your spine or all of a sudden you got goosebumps all over your arms. That is clairsentience. When you get a physical sensation on your body, on your physical body, and you feel as if something is true for you. That is another way we receive intuitive information. This particular intuitive type can be a little tricky because it's not as clear cut as some of the other ones. When you see a visions, you see the picture. So it's, it can be fairly clear. Although sometimes visions and clairvoyance can come through as symbols. With clairaudience, you hear a simple statement. So that one is pretty clear to understand when it comes to following your intuition. But sometimes the clairsentient, the physical sensations are a little harder to understand. And that's okay. Just know that that is one of the ways that you can receive information. You might actually be picking up physical sensations from other people as well, if you're an empath. So that's something else we can talk about for another time. But just know physical sensations is another way you can tap into your intuition. And then the fifth way is through being a clair empath. That is when you are strongly connected to your emotions. This can also mean that you very easily pick up other people's emotions. And you might be able to sense with your emotions, future predictions, things you wanna manifest. It's more of an inner knowing that comes from the emotional side. So all five of these clairs are ways that you can start to tap into your intuition on a daily basis. Just start noticing if you get any of these little intuitive nudges throughout the day that might be leading you in the right direction. Because when you're intentional with what you're manifesting, when you're getting into alignment with it, you're resonating with it, you have your vision board, you're doing your affirmations, your meditations, however you choose to do so, so that you start to draw in what you want into your life even faster, 
having this extra tool to be able to tap into your intuition every single day is going to help you skyrocket your ability to take inspired action. And not just inspired action that feels good, but knowing that your inspired action can come from a lot of different nudges in your life. And now you have a lot of tools of ways that you can start to tap into knowing what is inspired action and what isn't by following your intuition, by listening to all of these different ways that you might be receiving nudges from the universe, nudges from your guides, nudges from the manifestation that is already created in another dimension that is ready for you to take action and just be one with it. Your intuition is constantly telling you how to get there faster. So start paying attention. Start noticing if you get some tingles in your body. Start noticing if you get any ideas or quick flashes of pictures in your mind of, oh, this is what I need to do next. This is the person I need, I need to talk to in order to get to where I wanna be. Maybe you hear something. Maybe someone says something to you. Start to notice how things are coming through for you because when you start paying attention, the universe is always giving you signs. The universe is always communicating with you. The question is, are you paying attention to all the signs, signals, and messages that the universe is giving you on a daily basis? Because that is how you are going to reach your manifestations so much faster. This is the key to law of attraction. If you can master this skill, you will go so far so fast. If you love this information on learning how to take inspired action by following your intuition, I have a free guide for you. You can download it in the links that are in the description below. It's called Follow Your Intuition, The Straight Line to Manifesting Your Ideal Life. In my next video, I'm going to be talking about the importance of following your intuition. So if you want to get notified when the next video comes out in a few days, please hit that subscribe button and hit the bell. All of your comments and likes add to the engagement of this video so that more people can get this information in the world. And if you loved this video, here are a couple of other videos I think you would really enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I can't wait to see you in the next video.